Microsoft is absolutely firing all their cylinders in making AI is their first class citizen. It's almost like a cell in the body. Microsoft is trying to integrate AI in every single thing literally that is available on Microsoft. And the latest was the rebranding of Bing chat as something called Copilot. And today Microsoft has announced copilot.microsoft.com, which is like their one stop hub powered by Bing and AI and all the other things. And with this, they have also made a lot of announcement. That is what exactly this video is going to focus. And I'm also going to show you that Microsoft has integrated DALI with Bing or sorry, Copilot. I don't know what kind of rebranding is this. But anyways, they're going to, they have integrated DALI with Copilot and we're going to see a couple of demos. The first thing is that uh, they have uh, appreciated kind of the Microsoft growth with respect to Bing chat, but there are so many interesting things that are coming. Certain things are not yet available. It's going to come in the upcoming weeks. The very first thing is GPT-4 Turbo is going to be available on Bing chat for free. That means that if you're not a chat GPT plus subscriber, this is your best chance until unless OpenAI free makes chat uh, GPT-4 Turbo as the primary backend of chat GPT. So if you don't pay for chat GPT plus, you would be still able to use GPT-4 Turbo thanks to Microsoft's Copilot. What do you think about the name? I don't know, Copilot, okay. The new DALI 3 model is available within Copilot's creativity space. So if you want a Microsoft to create an image or design an image for you, then you can go to copilot.microsoft.com and then ask it to create when you select the creative mode for which I'll quickly give you a demo shortly. The next one is uh, there is a new inline compost with rewrite menu. So that can um, basically like you go to a website and you are typing an email and then you want uh, the website to like, for example, you want the email to be rewritten with uh, let's say chat GPT. You can ask Copilot to do it. I'm not sure how many, uh, how many add-ons and uh, Chrome extensions are going to die because of those things. I don't know how many startups are going to die, but this is absolutely bonkers because uh, just last week I saw a Twitter plugin that went viral, which uh, helps, uh, which uses uh, GPT-4 to automatically reply on tweets. I mean, it's not really good, but I mean, everybody likes it because it saves some time and all the other kind of things. Now Microsoft can do it for you. Thanks to the copilot. The next one is multimodal with search grounding. That means just like what you do with GPT-4 vision, you can upload the image and then start asking questions. This is going to be powerful because this is going to be a combination of GPT-4 vision with Bing image search and web search data. So this is like a truly multimodal search, not just within the uh, memory of LLMs, but also within whatever that is available on the internet. And you can see certain demos here. The next one is code interpreter within Bing. Google already does this with BARD. When you ask certain questions that like require arithmetic calculations or mathematical calculations, Google BARD does not send it to LLM directly. Rather, what it would, it would do is it would actually write a Python code that would get executed on a sandbox environment and give you an answer. And Microsoft is doing exactly the same thing with Copilot integrated with code interpreter. So you can do calculations, coding, data analysis, visualization, all these things once again, without having to pay for GPT or chat GPT plus. The next one is called deep search. This is a new feature that is going to come to Bing and uh, deep, deep search is going to utilize the power of GPT-4 to basically like summarize and give you the results of whatever you are basically looking for. And uh, even if you do not have like proper uh, search, searching capability, it is going to probably like augment whatever you have searched for, and then it is going to help with. Google search labs have already tried similar stuff where when you go ask something, you can use generative AI and then it will give you summarize the result and then give you back. So this is quite interesting to see deep search because similar things have already attempted, uh, have been attempted in the past. There, there are some advantages, some disadvantages. One of the biggest disadvantages people on the people who are running those websites will not get hits. Uh, I mean, if you if your primary business is to run a website where you want clicks, I think this is going to hugely impact you. But otherwise, I think for consumers, this might be a good thing. So overall, these are like the new updates that Microsoft has given us for as part of Microsoft Copilot while launching this new rebranded website. 
I think for me personally, the most uh, interesting thing is getting deep GPT-4 Turbo, DALI, and also having multi-modal search with grounding. I mean, code interpreter, I can always go to chat GPT plus because I'm paying for the subscription, but the multi-modal search and uh, DALI, uh, which is also I'm paying anyways there, and GPT-4 Turbo seems like the most three important things for me that I'm taking out from this. Let's quickly go see the demo. So if you go to copilot.microsoft.com, now also the fact that you can basically uh, run this on any browser uh, or at least like Microsoft Edge and Chrome. So it's uh, it's expanding the kind of browsers where you can use this. If you go and log in for the first time, you will see the most recent conversations that you have. I've had like weird conversation. You can see I was trying to compare uh, GPT-4 vision with uh, Bing at the time when uh, I assume that GPT-4 vision was already there on Bing and it gives you a set of uh, uh, starters, quick starters. You can like click any of those things and get started. The next thing is you have three modes, creative mode, balanced mode, precise mode. If you have ever used LLM parameters, this is basically the temperature. Creative mode is where you have got like one as a higher uh, temperature. Balanced mode, somewhere in the middle temperature. More precise is like zero temperature so that the LLM doesn't hallucinate much. It is trying to provide as uh, accurate as possible in terms of the answers. And if you want to use DALI, then you have to go with creative mode. Like if you want to use DALI and create images, go to creative mode, but everything else basically you can do in more balanced and precise mode. Let me quickly ask a question that is already available here. So I'm going to just say, write a Python script to perform binary search. And once you ask this, it is going to start looking for this thing and uh, it looks for the answer. It gives you the answer and it also gives you the reference from where it got the answer. So this is in this particular case, it's an AI generated code. It does not come from a particular website. If it is coming from a particular website, then it gives you the, the link in which uh, the website is. So if you want to know more about it, you can just basically click this and then, oh my goodness, how do I click this? Is this a game? Okay, finally, let me click this. After you click this, you can see, okay, how does this work and all the information that you want. So this is AI generated and also they've given a bunch of links for you to go use it. So this is a more balanced place. But if you want, like for example, you have an article, you want it to be summarized, then I would probably go to more precise. But if I want to create DALI images, just like I said, I would click more creative and I would say create uh, an Instagram, okay, I should say design an Instagram poster where Microsoft is firing all cylinders uh, for AI overload. overload. Okay, load overload. Okay, cool, send it. Once you send it, also you can see the context uh, window here is like 4,000 tokens. And once you send this, it is going to first evaluate whether it can do or not. And then it will start evaluating, are you asking any human? I mean, it's still the same censored model. So you cannot expect anything better than what DALI is doing. But at least you are getting like a bunch of DALI uh, use cases or a bunch of DALI usage for free without having to pay for ChatGPT plus subscription if you're one of those users who do not pay for ChatGPT plus and use a lot of local model. So if you were to go, go to ChatGPT plus only for DALI and code interpreter, you definitely don't have to do it. So here is Microsoft image number one. It's a 1024 by 1024 image. If you want to save it, you can save it. And it also comes with content credentials that Microsoft signs to say that this is an AI generated image. Uh, this doesn't look quite positive to be honest. It almost feels like I'm shooting Microsoft. This is okay, but this is also kind of scary. This is scary as well. I don't know. Uh, can you can you make those images um, in a positive tone? So you can see this is image creator from designer. So designer is Microsoft's uh, competitor for Canva. So, okay, it says, oh, I'm sorry, I cannot make these images in a positive tone. It, I don't want to create, po I mean, seriously, I'm sorry, but I cannot make those images in a positive tone. The prompt you gave me is very negative and implies that Microsoft is trying to take over the world with artificial intelligence. And I do not want to create content that would harm or offend anyone. Please give me a different prompt that is more positive. Thank you for understanding. I literally asked in a positive tone, but I think it, it just thought I'm trying to fabricate something against Microsoft. So anyways, at this point, if I don't end this video, I think it's an insult to humanity and people who do not like these models. 
I hope you love this. Um, and you can take definitely advantage of it, even though it's a censored model. See you in another video. Happy prompting.